Hi everyone, hope you're well. Oh my goodness, it's been such a long time. <laughs> Hopefully I would have put up my Christmas, New Year, whatever video by now. Um, I was all in and are in whether to put it up because it's March now. It's not Christmas and it's not New Year. But hopefully I would have put that up. If not, hi. <laughs> um, yeah. So I haven't been in front of a camera like this for ages. So please excuse me. And it's early o'clock now. So yeah, you can see bags, dark circles and all the rest of it. And croaky voice. So please excuse all of that. So, um, I'm about <laughs> to try and change my whole, I was going to say my whole life, a bit dramatic, my whole routine, daily routine life, um, as it were. Yeah, um, big changes, a couple of, must have been a year ago or so now, because it was pre well change life lockdown. <laughs> Um, when I did like a healthy heart challenge, I think it was either the healthy heart challenge or the mindset challenge, one of the ones that I was doing and I was talking about doing courses and changing stuff and well, <laughs> um, fast forward all the way to this year, I noticed that I've started to be quite down um the end of last year I was ill quite ill all the way up Christmas I was ill after Christmas I was ill and I didn't really start bouncing back till end of January early February so yeah I was physically ill as well as um emotionally mentally I was just just ill <laughs> and this, I I started to feel myself you know falling back into the habits of just wanting to stay in bed not getting up um like kind of fitting things around because i had no first of all i had no energy no energy at all my energy was depleted i would have to like set alarms to cook set alarms to get up to cook dinner set alarms to make sure things were done and the rest of the time I was just sleeping, I was wiped out. And then as I started to um, get a little bit more energy, I wasn't sleeping as much, but I was still so, like my energy was gone. So I was just like lying down, still, um, you know, setting alarms to do things. And then after I started to feel a bit better um, physically, I still felt really emotionally drained. I still felt low. And I could just feel myself drifting. And, you know, part like, a part of me was like, no, you can't do this. You've got to, this, I don't want to live like that because it's not, an, it's not nice. It's not a nice, it's not a nice way to live. It's not a nice feeling. And I know, like, it's so hard to get out of it. And I just kind of said it in my mind. Um carried on carried on with with like life as it were and then one day I saw an email come in because I joined this um working website thing and an email came in and it was about this traineeship coffee and whatnot because I love coffee I love um like the whole coffee whatever <laughs> I love coffee so it was like this um traineeship and I saw the email and I just read it and I was like, mm, do you know what I mean? Because I've been looking at, well, thinking about trying to get to work and whatever, whatever. But every time, honestly, every time I think, all right, let me try and apply places. Let me try and look for somewhere. Some One of the kids gets sick or one of the kids have um, an emergency and I've got to go school, collect them. Couple, a couple of times I've had to take them to the hospital to get checked up or um x-rays the whole shebang and I think to myself well if I was at work if I had a call oh you've got to come and collect your child or oh you've got to 
bring your um, child to the hospital to get an x-ray to get checked up etc etc what would I do so I kind of push it back and then also I'm like um, I just don't feel employable I know it sounds weird I just don't feel employable so then when this email came in I was like let me see let me see what it's saying so yeah I applied I don't know I don't know what I still don't know what really I don't know how why um I applied thinking I uh, probably won't get anywhere with it probably you know probably won't come to anything and then um I got a phone call and it was like a kind of interview like a kind of phone interview and they said all right if um if you're successful with this part of it you'll go through to an assessment and still I thought mm, nah, I probably won't get a call back and I got a call back to go and get the assessment so <laughs> um I'm not gonna lie I'm anxious I'm at, yeah anxiety levels are high but I thought let me I don't know it'd be just nice to kind of document the journey if I get through hopefully I get through if I got if I don't get through I probably won't put this out <laughs> if I don't get through I probably won't put this up so if this is up I got through to the assessment and no to be honest if I don't like the um stages are that the, I have had the phone um call um the assessment where we'll go in um I guess be I you know probably go through like an assessment um of ourself and maybe I don't know I don't know actually maybe um I think they said something about using machines and stuff so yeah then um if we're successful with the assessment we'll have a phone um not a phone we'll have an interview so yeah so the, um the time frame is really short so you know it was like got the phone call on the Wednesday um was it the Wednesday or the Tuesday whatever and literally an email the next day yep you're through to the assessment and the assessments today which is Friday so there was no it's just quick 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 and if I get through past the assessment which is today if I get through like successful with the assessment then there'll be an interview next week um and then the the traineeship starts the following week so it's like really quick really quick I don't have time to you know think too much about it which is good don't you know like even today I was like should I bother yesterday like last night I'm like I can't do this I can't do this but I have to I have to go I have to try so I'm gonna go for the assessment I'm gonna come off now um to get ready <sighs> yeah I'm not gonna lie I'm so like yeah anxiety levels are high <laughs> um self-doubt is coming in all these kind of feelings are coming in but just gotta quiet them down and try a thing in it try a thing so yeah yeah let's do this <laughs> um yeah anyway so here goes <laughs> hi everyone hope you're well oh my goodness so um i passed the assessment i well i was successful in the assessment and i'm through to the interview stage the interview is um probably in an hour's time it's actually going to be on zoom so that's good i don't need to leave the house but oh my goodness i thought i'd come quickly because i'm nervous i'm so nervous i'm so nervous so i thought let me try calm myself down come and have a chat um talk about the assessment how that went i'm actually trying to um set down <laughs> set down my hair that's why I've got my headscarf on um 
yeah so the assessment i'm not going to be i'm going to try and keep it short so i can prepare and go over like in my mind <laughs> stuff for the interview so the assessment the assessment it was it was good it was fun but it was nah i'm not gonna lie i i was out of my oh please excuse the noise there's some work people in um i think the neighbors anyway the assessment oh my gosh I'm not gonna lie, I am out of my comfort zone, out of my comfort zone. I mean, I guess like over the last couple of years, um, a lot of people have been working from home anyway. But for me, I've not been at work for years. I left work um, some years back and I haven't been to work. I don't really socialise that much. I'm an introverted person. I, I love staying at home. Like when lockdown was on and people was like, oh, you know, I miss going out and da 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 this. I was like, home life, home life, all life. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's, I'm out of my comfort zone. And then being around a whole load of people trying to get through the assessment obviously i'm nervous that side of things out of my comfort zone i might have to shut the window because the people that are loud um yeah, yeah yeah let me shut the window hold on i'll be back hey pax i am back oh my gosh i think i moved this whole thing please excuse that <sighs> okay so the assessment the assessment was at the academy and yeah it was good i only i didn't know how i did honestly i didn't know how i did um the good thing about it is that this organization they from what i can gather they help people who wouldn't necessarily um like they i don't know how to explain it it's like people who need a little extra help um whether it be physical emotionally um all kind of things people who are looking for jobs but might not you know have have an equal playing field i don't know how to explain it playing field an uh, equal I don't know i don't know how to explain it but um they support that's it they support people who want to get into work want to get into jobs maybe their background means that they you know haven't had the best chance or maybe they haven't been in work for a long time maybe they have emotional needs or or, or stuff like that educational needs anyway so i okay hurry up because i've already chatted a lot so the assessment went in in the morning had like icebreakers as it, as it were there's 12 of us um was there 12 i think there was 12 of us 12 of us in the morning and they were gonna see another group in the eve in the afternoon so the icebreaker introduce yourself etc etc there were um the training the training guys the, the academy people were there and also like the employees and the partners were there as well so we were split into two one group would do the technical practical side of the assessment and then move on to like an interview type of what well, they called it a chat but it, basically it's an interview with the um partners and employees etc so one group would be with the employees and one group would be with the like on the technical side and then they'll swap over so thankfully oh my gosh something's gonna drop okay so 
thankfully I was in the practical group first which was really good because then I could kind of calm down just relax off my skin <laughs> just relax and then go into the interview piece because I'm not gonna lie I was really really nervous about that so the practical side of things we went straight onto the machines um, the expression machine and they went through a routine they went through the routine of making an espresso basically um and you know they went through it showed us and then we did it we went through it and yeah it was um i don't know it was really it was exciting but also like it, it was a lot to think it was a lot to think about you know like when you make an express maybe you know how to make an espresso but I don't know how to make no an espresso, no espresso. I haven't been on an espresso machine. Um, when I go into like, I don't know, Starbucks, Costa, cafes, etc. I don't really watch them on the machines. I normally watch to make sure that they're putting the right milk because um, of my dairy allergy. I normally ask for like oat milk, almond milk, etc. And I'm normally watching to make, watching them put in the right milk because a couple of times they've put in the wrong milk so I don't even watch it anyway it's waffling on in it so I don't really watch them on the espresso machine so then going there going and seeing like the steps there's a, quite a few steps I think there's 10 8 or 10 anyway but there's a whole routine um yeah a whole routine of it so we went through there went through that did the assessment there then moved on to the like the interview portion where you'd go into the room and you'll sit with somebody who you know took, found out a bit more about yourself your any work history any you know stuff like that ask they ask questions like um yeah like a basically an interview why do you want to come here what made you come here like talked about um like have you had, had any experience working in a team you know that kind of, like proper interview um and yeah I was just on I just thought I'd be honest you know this is the best way because number one I don't want to like say for instance I do get through and um all of a sudden I'm not having a good day or I'm anxious or something's happened and they'll be like what you didn't tell us this <laughs> so I thought I'd be honest because like even um in the form that you had to fill in pre pre before the um assessment you had to fill in this whole this whole thing and it talked about um you know if you have any educational needs if you have any I don't know um learning support needs any uh, medical needs then it asked about mental health I was just honest I just said yeah anxiety depression I hate saying it I hate disclosing or talking about it but I thought you know what be honest and then he, again um it, it came up in the interview like the lady who was interviewing me asked me what do, you know what is about it I was just honest just talked about what have you I said you know what I'm just going to be honest because you know but she was saying like it's it's like nowadays at, in jobs and stuff like that there's more support and this place here, she was just saying that this place here, this that's what they do. They support, they um do you know what I mean? They care about they care about the whole the whole part of a person and like they're trained for it and all the rest of it. So and then like the um I forgot to mention as well that this place you you, you do the traineeship, you do the academy and but you also go into a placement. And the people at the placement, they obviously work really close together. So they're used to all this kind of thing. So, yeah, so we went through that part and then just kind of grouped back again. They talked a bit more about the whole um, traineeship, like making sure that we kind of knew what to expect if we got through and if we were still happy to go ahead they talked they covered um 
the weeks basically so eight i don't think i don't know if i've said it already it's an eight week thing first four weeks is just at an, just at the academy and the so that's what week one to four is at the academy week five excuse me week five to eight is academy and a placement and they went through the dates and everything else to check if you were able to come the only thing is that weeks three and four they're going to be during um the school holidays so that's going to be it's not going to be um it's not impossible but it's something that i need to think about but yeah so anyway i'm gonna go because like i said i have the interview it's not even an hour's time now probably 45 minutes so i'm going to get a drink have a think i i reckon oh my goodness um <laughs> my um storage got full so i've had to just quickly jump onto this phone so please excuse yeah just excuse that i'm just gonna end this now um i can't even remember where i got up to before but I'm going to go prepare for my interview. So yeah, I'm just going to try and prepare the best I can, try and calm my nerves, set up Zoom on my phone, get a nice um, quiet place <laughs> to set up for the interview. Um, yeah, so whew, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I get, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they accept me and yeah yeah exciting nervous Whew. anyway <laughs> thanks for keeping me company this far people who um whoop. people who need help <laughs> 